Hello friends, today we are going to start with direction. As you know, direction is one of the very important topic for all kind of competitive exams. Let it be bank, SSC, railways, UPSC, CSAT and placement trainings. In all the exams, you can expect two to three questions. Now I am going to discuss the basics of direction and then followed by we will have few questions that we will try to solve it. So what is the concept in direction? See direction will have north, then east and then south and then west. See basically this is nothing but the full form of news. N for north, E for east, W for west and S for south. So same thing in direction also we have all the four directions are there. Now here right and left, right and left will be asked in the question of direction. See the problems will be something like that. A person walks towards east 5 km and from there the person takes a right turn or a left turn. So a student will have confusion with respect to the direction how to take right and how to take left. So if you know clockwise, so clockwise means how the minute hand moves. So in the same direction if it is moving that means clockwise and clockwise is nothing but right here and anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise means the opposite direction of the minute hand. So anti-clockwise will be left direction. Now suppose in a question a person moves 5 km towards the east direction. Now the person after moving he reached here right east is in this direction so a person move 5 km in east. Now if that person has to take right then in which direction he will move see so you put your pen point there and right means what clockwise right means clockwise so put your pen point here and then see how the clockwise direction will be there so clockwise will be like this so my right will be this so suppose a person move 5 km towards east and then 3 km towards right so right will be below so like this we identify right and left and when we solve few questions that time this will get clear for time being you understand if a person is moving towards clockwise then it is right if a person is moving in anti-clockwise direction then that is left now the other concept is suppose if a person is here in between then in which direction the person will be so in which direction the person will be? The person will be in north east direction. So the person will be in north east direction. Same thing if a person is standing here or sitting here then in which direction the person will be? So the person will be in south west. So the person will be in south west direction. So here there should not be any confusion. Now the third concept is with respect to angles. So if this is perpendicular then the angle mid by both you can say x and y will be equal to 90 degree. See if the both of, if the two lines are perpendicular to each other then if x and y are perpendicular to each other then the angle made by them will be 90 degree right okay. So this total angle will be 90 degree. Now if we we'll talk about the half angle then it will be 45 degree because many a question will be asked on the basis of angles. So this will be 45 degree. So this person will be in 45 degree angle right okay now this total will be 90 degree again if a person is here then i can say person is making 135 degree angle from east so like this we will be able to solve the questions related with angle that we will see when the questions will come let's start with question number one question number one a person is walking towards east five meter then he turned towards his right and walks 10 meters later in this journey he turned towards his right direction and walks for 15 meter. Finally, he turns right and walks 10 meter. What is his final direction? How far he is from his starting point and in which direction? In which direction is his starting point from the end point? So for solving any question of direction, the first thing we do is we draw this direction diagram. North, East, South and West, right? Okay. Now a person is walking towards east 5 meter. So a person is walking towards east 5 meter. So if you will see the 5 east will be in this direction. So a person is moving 5 kilometer or 5 meter in east direction. Then he turned towards his right and walks 10 meter. So if we will talk about the right then put your pen point here and then see in which direction clockwise direction will be there. So clockwise means 
this direction right so clockwise direction will be a right direction so the person will move in this direction how many meters 10 meters then later in his journey he turns towards his right direction and walks for 15 meter now again we have to find out in which direction a right will be there so again put your pen point here and clockwise means you have to go towards the minute hand or second hand for clockwise direction right so this will be the clockwise direction will be in this direction so again he is moving 15 meters in the right direction so 15 meters will be something like this so 15 meters will be something like this right see this is what 5 meter this is a parallel distance then this distance will become 10 meter right okay finally he turns right and walks 10 meter so finally he turns right again we have to find out right so find out the clockwise direction so put your pen point here so this will be my clockwise direction so in clockwise direction again that means in right direction again the person is moving how many meter the person is moving 10 meter right so the question is what is his final direction see this is my final diagram right this is my final diagram and we have taken care of right and left here so this person is now here so what is his final direction so this person is in, in this direction so this direction is nothing but north direction so the final direction of the person will be north direction right see the person has started from here this is the person a starting point and the person has finally reached here the destination right okay now how far is he from his starting point and in which direction so from a starting point if you'll see the person is 10 meter far from a starting point if you'll see the person is 10 meter far right see this distance is what 10 meter and this distance is also 10 meter so from a starting point if you'll see the parallel distance this will be 10 meter so from a starting point the person will be 10 meter distance and in which direction see this direction will be nothing but west direction so this will be west so from a starting point the person is 10 meter far and in west direction now question number three in which direction is his starting point from the end point so from the end point if you'll see in which direction is the starting point so from end point the starting point will be in this direction right if you are seeing from this end point then the starting point is is in this direction and that direction is nothing but east direction so our answer will become east i hope you understood the basic concept and then followed by this problem thanks a lot for watching the video